Welcome to the 2023 Distinguished Citizens and Lifetime Achievement Awards. I'm Jeff Berger, the CEO, the Scout Executive for the South Florida Council, Boy Scouts of America. As I approach my 30th year of service as an executive, I reflect fondly upon the many great leaders, parents, and community leaders that make scouting possible. Taking an active role in the positive development of children is always needed, as the youth of today will be the leaders of tomorrow. We must prepare them for life with the timeless values of being trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, the great parts of our Scout Law. The Scouts Distinguished Service Award recognizes individuals or organizations that have made a positive impact in our community. There is not a requirement that they've been a Scout, but rather that the tenets of the Scout Oath and the Scout Law are obvious in the way that they conduct themselves in the community and in business. These tenets include duty to others, duty to country, and doing a good turn daily, which means doing a good deed. Our Lifetime Achievement Award is presented when it is fitting and impact is over a number of decades and typically time to celebrate a lifetime of altruistic service above self. We have a stellar class of honorees and I'm pleased with the amazing positive impact each of them has made on our community and nation. The South Florida Council has been presenting the Distinguished Citizen and Good Turn Awards for decades. You may review the past honoree list on our website and you'll find many great leaders. Folks like Joe Robbie, Governor and Senator Bob Graham, Cheryl Hudson, Tony Arguese, George Jenkins, Tibor Hollow, Al Dotson Sr., Mike Fernandez, Tony Burns, Jim Hamill, and Carlos Arbalea. Before we present the awards, I want to share some exciting updates about our local scouting programs. Scouting has been in South Florida for over 110 years and provides life-changing programs for more than 30,000 youth in Miami-Dade, Broward, and Monroe counties. We are very thankful for our donors that directly support our outreach efforts in Pompano Beach, downtown Fort Lauderdale, Brownsville, Opalaca, homeless shelters, and the migrant farm working communities of South Dade. We're strong because of our adult volunteer leaders, which are parents just like you. These 1,400 dedicated adult volunteers lead more than 210 scout troops, Cub Scout packs, and explorer posts from their homes, their schools, churches, and synagogues. It is truly a grassroots effort. These scouts and their leaders, besides earning thousands of merit badges, go on camping trips to our three different scout camps in South Florida. We have Camp Everglades within the Everglades National Park, Camp Elmore in Davie, and also Camp Jackson Sawyer in the Florida Keys. Please take a look at these wonderful outdoor opportunities available for all of our scouts. Thank you to all of our great sponsors for making this year's celebration possible. Thank you to Tico Energy, People's Gas, Jackson Health System, Public Supermarket Charities, The Global Financial Group, Tom Bales and Connie Ryan, Aran Correa and Warch, Jim and Joan Hamill, and a special thank you to the Bergeron family of companies with a special project coming soon at Camp Elmore in Davie, Florida. Thank you for all of your support and joining us today. Now to the awards. Our first honoree is Sergio Abreu, a member of our executive committee and board of directors with the South Florida Council. Sergio in his youth was a Cub Scout and a Boy Scout, and as an adult, he stepped up as a leader for his two sons scouting program, serving as a den leader, as a Cub Master, and as an assistant Scout Master with the scouting program at St. Louis Catholic Church in Pinecrest. His adventures in scouting have included week-long summer camps throughout the state, as well as to North Carolina. Sergio is a graduate of Belen Jesuit Preparatory School and he earned his bachelor's degree in political science and master's in business administration from Florida International University. Sergio has close to 30 years of private sector experience in government affairs and electric and gas utility experience. Currently, he serves as a regional manager of external affairs for Tico People's Gas in the Southeast Florida market. Sergio is the current chair of the FIU President's Council and serves 
on the FIU Foundation Board of Directors. He also serves on the Board of Directors with Jackson Health System, the American Red Cross, and the Greater Miami Chamber of Commerce. In service to youth, two particular organizations are of special note. Sergio serves on the board of the Chapman Partnership, helping homeless children and families. And he's also an active member of the Orange Bowl Committee, which has numerous youth and family outreach programs supported by the proceeds of the annual community celebration event. For your exemplary service of demonstrating duty to others and making sure that Scouts learn about the Scout Oath and Law, the South Florida Council is proud to present you with the Distinguished Citizens Award. I am honored and blessed to be the 2023 Distinguished Citizen of the Year Award recipient from the South Florida Council of Boy Scouts. To me, this award will undoubtedly be one of my most cherished because of the enormous role that scouting has played in my life, in shaping my life, and more importantly, the role it has played in, and afforded me in shaping the lives of my two sons, in participating in their journey through scouting as their Cub Master and Assistant Scout Master. For me, scouting means having good moral character. It means leadership. It means service to my fellow man, the foundations of which I learned in scouting and which guide me in my life today. But it also means living by a set of values, values that are represented in the scout law, values like trustworthiness and loyalty, being helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent, values which I strive to live by every day in my life. But most importantly for me, scouting means family. I cannot imagine replacing one single minute of the time I got to spend with my father, my uncle, and my two sons, camping, hiking, fishing, and just experiencing life together. For me, I wish that every young man and woman have the opportunity to experience scouting and to have the opportunity to have it impact their lives as it has impacted mine. Thank you. The Lifetime Achievement Award is not presented every year and it's reserved for individuals that have continued to live their life as a person with the values of a scout. This year we have two honorees. We didn't want to miss the opportunity to honor their lifetime impact. Our first honoree is Eagle Scout, George Hanbury, the president of Nova Southeastern University. George is an Eagle Scout from Troop 14 in Norfolk, Virginia. He's also hiked the trails of Philmont, our national scout ranch with over 137,000 acres in New Mexico. During many keynote remarks over the years, George speaks of values, integrity, perseverance, and ensures that all of his NSU team, students, and others learn to cherish these values as core guiding principles for life. President Hanbury has led Nova Southeastern as president since 2010, and in prior to becoming the sixth president of the university, he served as the chief operating officer for 12 years. Prior to higher education service and leadership, he was a city manager for our very own Fort Lauderdale and also two great cities in Virginia. Adult leadership in the scouting program is chosen. We select adult leaders that possess the emotional and social capacity to be great mentors for our youth. George, you were selected for the Lifetime Achievement Award because of your enduring and insightful leadership, integrity, and living the life of an Eagle Scout. Eagle Scouts remember pledging our sacred honor to these scouting ideals. You have brought these values to even higher levels through your vision and setting an unwavering standard of excellence. Thank you, George. Congratulations. Receiving this Lifetime Achievement Award from the South Florida Council of the Boy Scouts of America is one of the most prestigious awards I've ever received. And recognizing the names of the individuals who have received this award previously makes me extremely humble to accept this award and be considered in the categories of those who preceded me. You know, in the last 60 years, I have been the chief executive of large cities in two states, as well as Nova Southeastern University as its president and CEO. And in each of those locations, I've had to work 
with elected officials, appointed officials, and volunteers to establish a single shared vision, following a mission, but set on core values. And everything I've learned, not belittling my undergraduate degree, my master's degree, or my PhD in leadership, everything that I learned that I've practiced and what started was joining the Boy Scouts when I was 11 years old and the first time I got in the sixth grade until the ninth grade to get the Eagle Award. And you know where I learned about creating a single shared vision with a mission, but based on core values? the Boy Scouts. The vision, personally, be prepared. The mission, on my honor, I'll do my best to do my duty to God and country and to obey the Scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically fit, mentally awake, and morally straight. And the core values, a Scout is trustworthy. Loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. That has stayed with me and guided me throughout my entire life. You know, when I joined the Boy Scouts, the scout leader was an old gentleman, Captain Harry Howlin, and he told me, boys, you join the Scouts, it's worth two years of college. I grew up in a very, very low income neighborhood and it was long before financial aid for students and student loans. And we didn't think we were ever going to go to college. But the Boy Scouts, if Captain Harry Howland said, join Troop 14, it's worth two years of college, I knew I was going to get two years of college at the Boy Scouts and I was going to get the Eagle Award. And he was right. What I learned and what you will learn as a Boy Scout is exactly the principles and practices that I've led but help others to create a shared vision, a mission based on core values. Thank you very much, South Florida Chapter, Boy Scouts of America. Our final award for the inaugural Broward County Honoring Ceremony is a Lifetime Achievement Award for Alligator Ron Bergeron. Alligator Ron is a Life Scout from Troop 118 in Davie, Florida a troop that's still going strong. Scouting teaches young people to be conservation-minded and be a good steward of the resources entrusted to us. As a cowboy and glazeman, Alligator Ron knows the importance of the natural resources of our beautiful state of Florida, its river of grass, and how all things relate to each other. From humble beginnings in a small town of Davie, lessons learned about being kind, appreciative, were formative character traits passed along by his parents. His grandfather, a game warden, taught Alligator Ron about the Everglades and also how to wrestle alligators. There are many more formative stories that have defined and influenced the great man you know today. After graduation from Stranahead High School, his past scoutmaster offered him a job to maintain his coconut groves and live on site. From there, the opportunity for more work grew with neighbors, purchasing more equipment, and one day, the scoutmaster saw the potential and gave Ron his ownership in the land and equipment. Ron Bergeron Development was incorporated in 1965, and a few years later, the company grew to 150 employees. Appointed by three Florida governors, Ron serves as a Florida Fish and Wildlife Commissioner and is a founder of the Bergeron Everglades Museum and the Wildlife Foundation. Alligator Ron's positive impact has also blessed the Boys and Girls Club the Hysinga Broward Partnership for the Homeless, the American Heart Association, the Boy Scouts of America, the Old Davy School Historical Museum, 
and the Professional Rodeos Cowboy Association and many more groups. The South Florida Council is proud to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to Life Scout Alligator Ron Bergeron. I was a Boy Scout back uh, in the little town of Davie, which uh, was about 500 people. I am so blessed and so humbled to be raised by a grandfather that was a game warden in the beautiful Everglades back in the 1940s. I remember the first trip into the Everglades, the wildlife, the sunsets, and God's landscaping. It impressed me so much that I've continued to work as hard as I can to make sure the environment is protected for future generations. It's a great honor and I'm very humble for this Lifetime Achievement Award uh, from the Boy Scouts of America. I look forward to continuing to make a difference for everyone in Florida and making sure there's a quality of life for future generations. Thank you to all of our great sponsors of this year's inaugural Broward Class of Honorees. Congratulations, Sergio Abreu, President Hanbury, and Alligator Ron Bergeron. On behalf of the 30,000 youth in the scouting program, we appreciate your outstanding examples of living the scout oath and the scout law in your daily lives. To close it out, our scout executive, Jeff Berger, has some final items to close the ceremony. Thank you and congratulations to all the honorees and a special thank you to Roberto Munoz, our council president and chairman for serving as the chair for this year's inaugural event. Also a special thank you to you and Terry Munoz of the Global Financial Group for being this year's presenting sponsor. Thank you so much, Roberto.